we went on Royal Caribbean's Navigator of the Seas Mexican Riviera Cruise. And here's a little ship review that I did for you guys. We're on our way to Mexico on a cruise ship out of Long Beach. Look at how amazing this is. This review starts with getting to the Long Beach port and parking, the embarkation process, then a general ship tour, then the gym, room tour, restaurants, buffets, and tons of entertainment on the ship. including the water parks with the two slides and flow rider. So if you need to jump ahead to see something, go for it. The Port of Los Angeles and the Port of Long Beach are two of the largest ports in the United States. And Los Angeles is the second largest container port in the world. The first is Shanghai. See our Shanghai video. It's super easy to get to the ports, just GPS it and follow the signs. Parking is right in front of the ship. I want to say it took about 45 minutes to an hour waiting in all the different lines to drop the luggage off. And they had luggage tags that you could get at the last minute if you didn't do it already online. Then you had to go through check-in and customs. Okay, here we go. Thank you. Thank you. And then you finally got to get on the ship. The rest is easy. You just walk up the gangway and make your way onto the ship. And then the rooms aren't ready till about, I think they said one o'clock. So we kind of explored the ship, got our bearings, went and saw where our rooms were. And then we headed up to the buffet because of course we wanted to check that out and it was open. It's open right when you get on the ship. I'll show you guys more of that later. Sailing out of the ports of uh, Los Angeles slash Long Beach was absolutely spectacular. I had no idea. The Lime and Coconut was a really cool bar. It had several layers to it and the rooftop was where we spent most of our time taking in all of the views coming in and out of the different ports. That was our favorite place on the ship. I'll show you more later. And this is also where they did all of the sail away parties and all the different parties uh, and happenings. So on the back of the ship, here is another pool area. Uh, there's plenty of pools and jacuzzis all over the place. Here you can see the lime and coconut rooftop bar. Oh my gosh, I love this place. We could see everything from here. Sailing in and out was just spectacular. And I noticed that not all of the Royal Caribbean ships have this rooftop bar. But boy, it's really, really nice. We loved being up there. As I said in my intro, sailing out of Long Beach slash Los Angeles was probably one of the most spectacular cruise ports we've ever sailed from. It was unbelievable. Also here at the back of the ship, you have Navigator Dunes, which is a little mini golf place, um, well, for adults or kids, but obviously mainly for children. They have tons of stuff on this ship for kids. The gym was well equipped. It looked like it had everything you'd need for a decent workout on a cruise ship. They offered a bunch of different exercise classes, but you had to pay extra for everything actually. So the only one that was free was the morning stretch. They have a sail away party every time you leave a port. And of course, here we were at my favorite spot, the rooftop lime and coconut deck. The sail away parties are so fun. They have tons of loud dance music and people are just partying and enjoying the views. If you're not into that party atmosphere, there's plenty of quiet places you can go, uh, mainly on the sides of the ship. Royal Caribbean Navigator of the Sea. 
It goes to the Mexican Riviera. First stop is Cabo San Lucas. Next is Mazatlan and then Puerto Vallarta. We got an inside cabin and the inside cabins aren't bad. We paid 500 bucks. We got a lot of deals on inside cabins. And uh, it's a basically a standard room. You have a bed, a little vanity, and there's a little couch, but we're using it for luggage. And the bathroom is small, but it's got a shower with really hot water and uh, a toilet and a sink, and that's basically all you need. Then there's storage here, which probably I should put my suitcase in. Thomas unpacked everything. I did not. Also, you can set your TV that will show the front of the ship where you're headed. And then also they have live TV. So if you wanted to watch like American TV, you could do that. We left out of Los Angeles, so, and we'll return to Los Angeles. So basically that's it for the room. We just came to our room and they made us this guy leaning on the pillow with the remote, just watching cartoons. How cute is that? Okay, every night we get a really cool little animal made. This is a snail and check it out. He made whatever these are called on a snail out of toilet tissue. Another cute teddy bear on our bed. Actually, one of the activities that they have is teaching you how to make these uh, little animals. They do a presentation and they kind of gear it toward kids, but it's interesting. And right at the end of our corridor, it comes straight out. And we're just, uh, I think, two floors up from the promenade, which is really lovely. The promenade's really beautiful. It's like walking through a mall. Plenty of options for photos. Oh my gosh, look at this place. It's just beautiful. They have this little replica of the boat showing you where you are. Here's the promenade when it's empty. At six in the morning, everything's closed. The bamboo room. The gift shop called The Collection. This is a hair drying place where they blow dry your hair. Copper and clover. They have ice and water machines here and soda. There's Playmakers, it's a sports bar. And this is Cafe Promenade. This is where you get the free stuff that comes actually with your cruise. And you can get pastries. They change it out every day. And you can eat as much of this as you want. They have pizza too here. And they have Lavazza coffee. All you can drink 24 seven and loads of tea and water. El Loco Fresh is the Mexican food on the boat. This is one of the free places you can eat all you want, as well as this ice cream stand. Wash your hands. So this is the buffet. These guys were a crack up. People would dance with them and sing with them. They were really fun. This buffet has everything. It's open almost all day for three meals a day. They have an Indian food station. They have a gluten-free station. If you want gluten-free pancakes or French toast or bread or whatever, and it's not actually at the gluten-free station, you can just ask for it. They have a paleo station. They have a salad station, which I guess I forgot to film, sorry. Really good food options. The food is really incredible here. If you're a meat eater, gluten-free, vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian, whatever all the other terrians are, you can eat on this cruise very, very well. And the desserts were unbelievable. Better than any cruise we've ever been on, truly. This buffet literally has everything. 
It even has a drink station, several of them actually, in the buffet area where you can get juice uh, and always uh, lavazza coffee and tea and whatever other drinks they serve there. The food is really good here. Mine is all vegetarian. This is gluten-free bread. I think they make it fresh here. It's quite good. This was some little goodbye parade that was fun that they had on our last morning breakfast. This is the formal dining room that you have your assigned table and you want to make sure if you're traveling with other family members in different cabins that you call ahead and make sure that they link your tables because you eat at the same table if you choose to go every night. We went almost every night because there was certain stuff we could eat there and certain stuff I couldn't and I might have preferred the buffet one night. The food was phenomenal. The entertainment on this ship was better than any entertainment on any other cruise ship we've ever been on. From this Caribbean steel pan band to the entertainment and all the lounges on the ship and then not to mention the Broadway quality musicals and dancing and ice skating. They had these cool trivia contests all over the boat and I won first place in one of them. I won Name That Lyric Game Show tonight. Volume 1, track number 10, finish the lyric. Well, the streets for money. Finish that lyrics. Excuse me, while I kiss the sky is the correct lyrics. Give me the winner. Oh, this game show is smiling all the way from Southern California. <laughs> and the winner is Marlene. Okay, I remember that Marlene. Lee and Marlene. Very interesting, huh? They had an art auction and it was interesting. Uh, they served champagne and that was complimentary. Hello. has heard of this man's name before and his name is Salvador Dali. All right, so I know many of you have been waiting. Another trivia game. <laughs> Where are we? We're in the schooner bar, but there's no medals tonight. I won the medal already.
So in case you can't find your room, they have these cool things here which you can look at all different venues and things. State room finder, 7117, enter. So I'm here and my state room's all the way over there. So when you come back to your room each day, they stick this little thing in that reminds you to turn your clock ahead or behind depending on your time zone. So that's pretty cool. So traveling back in time, it says, so we turn our clocks back. Second you hit the different time zone, you change it one hour. Very cool. So the rock climbing is free. Both the water slides are free, but to do the flow rider surf thing, I think you have to pay to take a lesson before they allow you to do it. I'm not sure, maybe it goes by aid. Disembarking was easy. There's a little bit of a line, but it's pretty organized. Oh, we're out. Parking is right across from the ship, so easy. The luggage pickup area. The luggage pickup is very organized. It's labeled and you have a number and you just go to your number and pick up your luggage. We have to go all the way around this line and go over there to customs. I would allow about an hour to get through customs. And this is only one ship that has about 4,000 people. If there were two ships disembarking, I would give yourself more time, especially if you have to catch an airplane. Thanks for watching Passports, and be sure to join us next week in Cabo San Lucas, where we walk around and enjoy the shops and the streets, and do lots and lots of tequila tasting. And then we check out Sammy Hagar's place, Cabo Wabo, one of my favorites. And all that before we head to Mazatlan and Puerto Vallarta. We're Passports with Marlene and Tomas. Hey, check out our merch store with our logo and cool travel designs. All of our clothes are made with 100% cotton or organic cotton. All colors and sizes. Tees, tanks, hoodies, and more. Along with accessories like mugs, glasses, cell phone cases, and masks. Please support our channel and get some cool merch. Store link in the description.